Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, So Much To Wear. I'm Nikki, and here on this channel, So Much To Wear, I do DIY thrift flips, and I love thrifting so much that I also give tips about how you can make it your job and make some money selling some of the cool stuff that you find at the thrift store. Today's video is a thrift flip, and I am super excited about this, and I'm crossing my fingers that it turns out okay. If not, at least you guys can learn from my mistakes and figure that this isn't gonna work. So. Here's what we're working with. I got this Levi's denim jacket at Goodwill and I got this for about $5. It is a nice jacket, but it doesn't have a whole lot going on. And I've been seeing on Instagram that there are some very talented people out there that are taking denim and painting on it to create anything that they want on it, make it personalized, make it their own, make it something really cool. I'm so inspired by that. Only problem is I'm not an artist. I am not an artist at all. But here's the thing. I do know someone who is an artist and he's good at teaching other people how to do paintings. I'm talking about Bob Ross, of course. But then this got me thinking, what if I chose one of Bob Ross's tutorials to teach me how to paint on the back of this denim jacket to make it special and to really make it my own? So that's what I'm gonna try to do today. Ooh, I just cross her fingers that this doesn't end up looking like a pre-K refrigerator drawing on the back of the jacket. I did do a little bit of research on the whole painting denim thing and I found that the best thing to use is either fabric paint or acrylic paint that has a fabric paint mixing medium put into it. I do have acrylic paint, but I also read that using super cheap acrylic paint, which is of course what I have, makes it crack and is not going to be as high quality. So I don't know that this is gonna be much different, but I got these soft touch fabric paints from Michaels with that 50% off coupon that I had. So I got these for about $10, originally over $20. I'm gonna use these to kind of mix the colors that are in his tutorial. Obviously, everything he's using exactly is not gonna be here. So we're really gonna have a lot of fun with this. There's one other thing that I'm going to do to this jacket though too. Check this out. Just a little bit of distressing similar to the jackets that are being sold right now on some of the major stores. Take a look, here's some examples of those jackets that I'm talking about. I just think, you know, maybe a little bit more edginess with a little bit of frayed, like cut this off a little bit, add a couple holes, might just like make it look a little bit less dancey, middle school dancey. Interesting. I'm gonna cut this bottom hem, so it's just gonna be kind of like frayed loose ends. God, I hope I don't ruin this whole thing. What I'm doing is I'm just using the tweezers to kind of randomly pull a couple of the threads out. Both of these have like some kind of like bleaching. So I'm gonna make a hole on this side. Okay, I'm honestly pretty happy with how the distressing came out. So now we're gonna move on to the next step, which is gonna be taping this, the sides of this, so that I don't accidentally get any paint on any other part. I mean, I feel like no matter how well I try to tape something off, it always doesn't come out perfectly anyways. So we're just gonna work with this. So I picked out the tutorial I wanna start with and I know that I need a white canvas. So the first thing that I'm going to do here, oh, why is it wrinkly? I don't know. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do here is paint this whole section white and then kind of let it dry. Putting this cardboard underneath the denim to protect the bottom. Got my white, not a lot of it. We'll see how that works, but I'm just going to shake it up. <laughs> I'm nervous. I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay. 
the package says it takes four hours for this paint to dry so i'm going to leave it overnight and pick back up on this project tomorrow where we're going to start painting with bob ross so excited i chose bob ross's rowboat on the beach season 24 episode 10 episode to do this just because there's not a lot of like structure to it so i don't think it'll be too challenging Please, God, please don't let this to be a disaster. Hi, welcome back. Certainly glad you could join us today. Thought today we'd just do a fantastic little painting that I don't believe you'll really enjoy. Okay, so he's starting with a bright yellow. Well, got a little yellow on the jacket already. Cool. This looks like the same color, right? Ugh. First note, mine's looking mighty green. This is like a real green sunset. See, we already have a, a masterpiece for the Museum of Modern Art right there. We could stop. <laughs> Bob's so funny. I'm gonna turn around and all of a sudden his is gonna be amazing and mine's gonna look the same. Dirty color back into the, center. the blending on this is tough when it's like bunching up. Okay guys, so I gotta be honest, I'm in a full out panic right now. Uh, I guess I did a lot more blending, so it's looking better now, but now Bob is getting into the challenging parts, creating the waves and the seascape. And I don't wanna completely mess this up, so I'm just gonna concentrate just on the jacket and I'm gonna do a big reveal. Okay, so I finished the painting. I'm really excited about it. It actually definitely, definitely, I, as I feel like is the case with most Bob Ross tutorials, worked itself out. I'm kind of obsessed with this. This came out really, really good. Thank you, Bob Ross. Like, I don't even know. Oh my God. Like, seriously? This looks like somebody that knows what they're doing painted this. I cannot believe I painted this.